Hello, Grace Church. This is Wednesday, March 25th, and I want to greet you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit this morning, and remind you that our situation uh, is not what we would hope. It hasn't been for a while, and as the body of Christ, though, we deal with that which is before us. And so the virus stuff continues. Our offices are basically closed. Folks are um, only getting out as they need. I want to encourage you as the body of Christ to be in prayer for each other and with each other. I want you to know that you're not alone and that this larger body of Christ, Grace Church, uh, is praying with and for you. I want to pray with you the prayer to the Holy Spirit we focused on this a couple of weeks ago, and there's a line in that prayer where it talks about because of what God will do through the Holy Spirit, there is this renewing of the face of the earth. And I have this image of the Holy Spirit coming to us and moving through us in this ever-growing sort of way that brings about this incredible something wonderful. I don't know what it'll be. But I know the power of the Holy Spirit, and I know it working through folks. So let us pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your Holy Spirit, and we will be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. O oh God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy your consolations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. And all the people said, amen. I also want to encourage you as Grace Church to pray daily the breakthrough prayer. It started about a year and a half ago, I believe, and at 7.11 in the morning and 7.11 in the evening, the idea was that we all, all of Grace Church together, praise the very same prayer. Margo and I have alarmed our phones at 7.11 in the morning and evening. Many of you have, and if you haven't in a while, or uh, if you've undone that, I want to invite you to put that back on your phone or some other mechanism so that together... We, as Grace Church, will be in prayer with each other, for each other, and for the larger community as well. So let us pray together uh, the breakthrough prayer. Lord, speak to our hearts and help us to grow deeper in relationship with you and connect with the world around us with the love of Jesus. Amen. And all the people said, amen. And I particularly am thoughtful on the last line of that prayer of connecting to the world around us with the love of Jesus. Again, focused on the opportunity that we have as people who know how to handle and to walk in the valley of the shadow of virus, death, all of those things. We have this incredible opportunity before us to be just such a blessing to this world um, in the midst of fearful times. Um, one thing I'm going to encourage you to do is to contact the office, particularly via email. And Kristen, through the magic of technology, will put up some sort of, um, put the email address on this video if you don't already know it. I want to encourage us as a congregation to call everybody else in the congregation. I've encouraged you before to call the people that you know. And I'm hoping that you're doing that, just checking on them. But would you also be willing to contact people that, um, that you don't know so well and check on them as part of the body of Christ? If you would, if you'll email uh, Elizabeth in the office and let her know that you'd be willing to call some people and check on them, she'll find a way of distributing a list of everybody um, so that you can be part, and then we'll share that information. But, but most importantly, everybody in our congregation, whether they've uh, been in attendance regularly or maybe not, will get a contact from the body of Christ because of you and because of how the Holy Spirit moves through you. You never know the blessings that God will bring through that. I've been thinking a lot, 
as I imagine you have, about the isolation that we're all in and the corresponding loneliness that comes with that from time to time. And those words uh, came back to me in my prayer time just a few days ago and prompted up a song that I particularly love. It's by Matt Mayer and it's called, All the People Said Amen. Would you say that with me? All the people said, and then you say amen. It's a wonderful song and I wanna encourage you to go to YouTube and, um, and sing along with this song. Uh, listen to the opening lines of it, I, and I'm going to sing it a little for you here. Uh, you are not alone if you are lonely. When you feel afraid, you're not the only. We are all the same in need of mercy to be forgiven and be free. It's all you've got to lean on, but thank God it's all you need. And then the chorus um, is all the people said amen, and it's it's a uh, an energizing chorus. And even in the midst of difficulty, we as Christ's body, I think, um, have this thing of feeling um, an incredible opportunity, the power of the Holy Spirit moving through us to bring blessing. And that, that is a, an energizing thing. You are not alone if you are lonely when you feel afraid. You're not the only, we are all the same, in need of mercy, to be forgiven and virus free. I kind of added that word. It's all we've got to lean on, but thank God it's all we need. And all the people said amen, whoa, 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 whoa. and all the people said amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for his love never ends. And all the people said amen. We need to get that word out to the folks that are particularly lonely and afraid. And even if that's you and me, God will move through us as we sing that song or speak the essence of that song. So I want to invite you as a family or even as individuals, just to go to that YouTube site and call up the song. I love that particular version of the song that Kristen will put up because it shows Matt Mayer with uh, his family. He says a prayer with his son before they sing the song. And there's this community sense where everybody's clapping. And it's just, uh, it's just wonderful. That's, that's one of my dreams for us in our own way. And so I want to encourage you. You are not alone even if you feel lonely. And when you feel afraid, you are not the only one. Power of the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always.